Hello everybody, this is Mr. Stone here and I'm going to talk to you today uh, on how to use Epic, the Epic app that uh, we use uh, when I come to your technology class. So first, um, the first thing that you need to know is that Epic is free for use outside of school until the end of June. So remotely, outside of school, if you're using Epic, it's going to be free, just as if you're using it on the school's um, IP uh, internet access. So once again, this is a free uh, device, a free resource, and um, you, you're you already uh, well um, versed on how to use it. So um, that's how we're going to do it. So before I go any further, I want to introduce you to my sidekick and my helper. Uh, this is my daughter, Maddie. So she's going to be helping us uh, talk about Epic. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to download it to your um, one of your devices. Um, we already know from our experience here at, at this house that um, Amazon Fire, your, your Amazon Fire tablet, it's, it's not going to work. So if you have a iPad such as this right here, um, it's going to be okay. Um, if you have if you have an iPhone such as this right here, you're going to be okay. If you have a laptop computer, such as this right here, you're going to be fine. Uh, we're not trying to do a uh, promotion for, uh, for Apple. Uh, however, that's currently what we have right here. So I'm going to uh, basically assume that you've already downloaded the app and you're needing to basically ac access your child's uh, class and how to find their name and, and all that good stuff. So um, I'm going to take you from the very beginning. So this is uh, when you first uh, download the app, it's going to uh, give you this uh, screen right here. And you're going to click on the bottom because you already have an account. That's the account that we've been using uh, since uh, the first part of uh, 2020. Uh, once you click on the bottom where you already have an account, you're going to have an option, parents or student and educators. You're going to select student. Okay, so my uh, class uh, is already populated onto this device. So um, you're going to put in the class code. Your uh, homeroom teachers already have this information. That information can be found on my Google Classroom page. So um, you're gonna uh, click on uh, Mr. Stone's class. So once you get to Mr. Stone's class, um, it's going to look something like this. Hopefully that comes out on the other end there. And then you are going to uh, type in, in the uh, window box, your child's name. Um, every child should have uh, their account on this. And if there's any uh, issues or oversights, um, please let me know and we'll go ahead and fix it. So I've signed in to my child's site right here. And I get this screen right here. There is her um, uh, profile, so if I tap on that, I'm going to get to look at her profile. I can see um, her icon, uh, the number of books that she's read, uh, the kind of book she's read, how she's done on her quizzes, that sort of thing. But what I want to do is show you the uh, search, which is the magnifying glass. We go to that. Uh, yesterday, uh, we have uh, we looked at the uh, George Lucas uh, the creator of Star Wars. That's a that's a thing that, that we're into right now at this house. Uh, so I think today you said something about police, law enforcement. Yeah. So we'll probably uh, do it do that. So basically, uh, I would type in uh, whatever uh, resource I wanted it to be. Um, you could you could supplement this uh, with uh, core content subjects uh, in your science, social studies uh, classes that you're taking. So if you're like us and you have gone through um, every single uh, book that uh, you have in your house um, and don't have access to the library because the libraries are closed, the Epic uh, app is really gonna come in handy. It's gonna open up a whole uh, new world of uh, resources to keep, A, your children occupied, keep them grounded in education. Uh, so with that being said, um, the one last thing I want to give you uh, for advice is if you are, if you have multiple uh, children in your house and you're needing to switch between classes, 
uh, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, go to that icon that brings up your child's, um, bring, it brings up her um, account, and then basically you're going to switch profiles, which is at the top right there, and then when you go to switch profiles, there is a uh, switch class, which is right here, and then you would switch the class. And then you would enter in uh, the class code for, for the other child that is using uh, the Epic app uh, on the same device. So thank you very much. And um, all that I'm telling you will be put in the notes section of the uh, YouTube video. Uh, have a great day.